Hello, fifth graders. Mrs. Noun here. Let's get what we need for our demonstration. So the first thing we need is chalk. I found two different types of chalk. I found a pack of white chalk at school. And then in my garage, I found some sidewalk chalk. You can use either kind. I think for this, I'm going to just use some sidewalk chalk or some white chalk. Then we need a container with, that has a good lid on it. I found several. From this in my recycling bin. I found a container I often use when I pack my lunch. That has a good secure lid. And then I thought about just a plastic water bottle. This one hasn't been drank out of yet, but I bet if you look in recycling, you could find one or just pour some of this water out because the next thing you need is water. And I just poured some from my kitchen sink. And then the last thing, if you have it, would be great to use for our observations is a hand lens. So grab those materials and I'll meet you right back here. All right, now let's put everything together. I've decided to use this jar. I'll take the lid off. I'm gonna fill it up about halfway. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm gonna take my piece of chalk. I'm not gonna break it into two pieces and just drop it in. And look closely. What do you observe, if anything, happening right now? I notice bubbles. I'm not quite sure where that's coming from. What do you think? Okay, let's screw on the lid, nice and tight, and let's start shaking. And count to 30 in your head, or out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Shake it any direction you want. 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, I see some things going on. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Wow, check it out. I'm gonna wait for everything to stop. What do you observe? It's really hard to see the chalk. Can you see, I see one of the pieces down there. Hmm, I notice it's cloudy, really hard to see through. Now let's open it up carefully. I'm gonna pour out the water and I'm gonna pour out the water in the container that the water was in originally. And tell you, before I take the chalk out, this is just the water, I want you to look at the bottom. I don't know if you can see, but I see a lot of residue or little pieces of chalk at the very bottom of the water. Now, I'm going to catch the chalk. Oh wow, look at my jar. That's that residue I was talking about. Can you see it? Now check out my chalk. Look at this. All on my hands. It's slimier. It's shrunk. The ends have curved in. It's softened, not so such straight lines. Interesting. So the shape of the chalk has changed. I wonder if I was to shake it up even more, what it might look like. Okay, I poured that same chalky water back into my jar because I really wanna know what's going to happen. 
My prediction is it's going to get even smaller. The chalk pieces will get even smaller. I wonder if they would even break into smaller pieces. So shake it as long as you want. Hard, slow. I wonder if that would make a difference by the force in which I shake the bottle or jar. If I shake it really hard or just a gentle You know, some weathering and erosion happens very quickly, like a tornado coming through, or a hurricane, or a volcano eruption. Other types happen over a very long period of time. For instance, the Grand Canyon forming. That was all due to weathering and erosion. Okay. We got it. I'm gonna pour, it sure is chalky. It almost looks white now. Pour it out, trying to keep my chalk in the jar. Oh, wow. Let's see if you can see what's going on. Do you see the residue? The leftover, the sediment? Now those same piece, oh wow, those same pieces of chalk. Are you ready? I was right. Each of the pieces broke in to two. So now I have four. Look at that. Look how small they are. Very interesting. Wow. What do you think would happen if I shook it even more? Hmm. Okay, I've taken the chalk and I put it in my hand. And now I want to use my hand lens to see up closely what I notice. And as I get closer, I see the edges of the chalk, the ridges are softened. They're no longer any straight, sharp corners. I see it, it shine a little bit. I think that's the from the water. The sides are smooth, yet bumpy at the same time. Look at the end. Wonder if you can see. Look closely. What do you observe? You know what it reminds me of? It sort of reminds me of the surface of the moon. Pictures of it. Look, it looks smooth, yet there's definitely some texture to it. Very interesting. And as my hand dries, look what I just noticed. That has dried and it's turned into chalk. It's still chalk. It's just now in powder form. It sort of feels like baby powder into my hands. Now it's time for me to wash my hands. So I want to share one more thing with you, one more observation I made. As I was cleaning up my materials, I went and I dumped out my water that I poured the back from the spaghetti sauce jar and look what I noticed. Sediment left over in the jar, in the measuring cup, from the chalk. Remember, I started with clear, clean water. And this is what was left. Well, after I poured that milky water back in. Hmm, where did that come from? What does this remind you of? Do you remember in fourth grade, setting rocks? What does the word sediment mean to you?